In the thriving cities of ancient Sumer, situated along the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, daily life was marked by bustling activity. Ships gracefully sailed down the waterways, transporting a myriad of goods, from food and drinks to exquisite jewelry. The air was filled with festivities, featuring banquets accompanied by music and dancing. These celebrations provided a platform for poets to recite versus glorifying kingly deeds, while golden cups filled with sweet date wine were raised in toasts, creating a lively atmosphere that characterized Sumerian urban existence. Sumerian artisans showcased their prowess in various crafts, particularly in jewelry making using precious materials like gold and lapis lazuli. While sculptures were limited due to the absence of suitable stones, the Sumerians excelled in creating beautiful mosaics with painted clay. The archaeological record reveals a rich array of artifacts, including helmets, harps, and decorated tablets, demonstrating the vibrancy and creativity embedded in Sumerian artistry. Sumerians were deeply immersed in a polytheistic belief system, attributing both fortune and misfortune to the whims of their myriad gods. Homes typically had shrines, and the city's focal point was the ziggurat, a towering structure believed to bridge the gap between earth and the heavens. Ziggurats, resembling stepped pyramids, served as temples where priests conducted religious ceremonies. The Sumerians regularly offered food and wine to their gods, with the ziggurat at the heart of daily life, providing a glimpse into their spiritual devotion. In ancient Sumer, education was highly prized, with record-keeping forming a fundamental aspect of daily life, Schools, often affiliated with temples, exclusively enrolled boys. Teachers were stringent, demanding perfection, as literacy was seen as a key to securing prosperous opportunities. This commitment to education was groundbreaking, marking Sumer as a pioneer in public schooling, laying the foundation for future civilizations to recognize the transformative power of knowledge. Ancient Sumerian society was stratified into four distinct classes, priests, the upper class, the lower class, and slaves. Priests held significant power, acting as intermediaries between the people and their multitude of gods. The upper class flaunted distinctive attire and enjoyed a luxurious lifestyle, while the lower class, though less affluent, aspired for upward social mobility. Slavery was prevalent, with individuals acquired through conquests serving the king, the temple, and the affluent, illustrating the complex social structure of Sumer. Rich and poor in Sumer lived in homes constructed from sun-dried mud bricks clustered around the central ziggurat. The scarcity of wood and stone compelled city dwellers to embrace mud-brick architecture, resulting in shared walls reminiscent of modern townhouses. Roofs were flat, offering additional living space where daily activities, including cooking and sleeping, took place. Despite variations in size and opulence, these homes were integral to the fabric of daily life, providing shelter in a civilization that flourished along the rivers. Slavery played a crucial role in ancient Sumer, with conquered individuals often becoming slaves who served the king, the temple, or the wealthy elite. The economic value of slaves was evident in records detailing their prices, emphasizing their status as commodities. The prevalence of slavery in Sumerian society underscored the complexity of power dynamics and economic structures, shaping the social landscape and contributing to the overall functioning of the civilization. In Sumer, women enjoyed a surprising degree of autonomy compared to some contemporaneous societies. They could freely engage in marketplace activities, own property, and handle legal matters. Upper-class women, such as those in the royal family or dedicated to temple service, had the opportunity to learn how to read and write. Despite not achieving complete equality with men, Sumerian women had rights that were notably progressive for their time, contributing to a diverse and multifaceted societal structure. Wrapping up our exploration into ancient Sumer, the standard of Ur emerges as a captivating relic discovered by Leonard Woolley in the royal tombs of Ur. Let's delve deeper into its symbolism, 
The peace side, depicted on the left, intricately unveils Sumerian society's three-tiered social structure, the upper, middle, and lower classes. On the contrasting war side, revealed on the right, the focus shifts to the Sumerian army, unraveling the distinct roles played by chariots, soldiers, and warriors. Join us in our next video, where we dissect these social classes, unravel societal norms, and explore the complex fabric of ancient Sumer's social structure. Subscribe, and let's continue this archaeological journey together.